Recently, ProPresenter came out with a new feature called Hot Folders. The concept behind this was to eliminate the need to import all of the media to the computer and then again to ProPresenter. By creating this feature, we were able to get rid of the second step. So today I'm going to take you on a brief tour to show you how this works. The first step is setting up Hot Folders. Hot folders are simply folders created on the desktop which are synced to ProPresenter and when you add images into them it will automatically add each image into ProPresenter at the same time. Next to each hot folder we have created an archive folder. The reason we do this is simple. Most of the slides that we use are only tailored for that particular weekend. For instance we may have an announcement slide that has a tag that reads Friday November 2nd. Well chances are we're not going to use that slide again but we don't want to delete them completely if there's any chance that we may use them again. So that's why we created the archive folders for each. Now once we move the item from the hot folder into the archive folder, it removes the image from ProPresenter as well. The purpose for this is to keep a very clean image library so we're not holding on to a bunch of slides that we no longer need. So now I'm going to create two folders on the desktop. On one of them, I'm going to label test and on the other I'm going to label archive test. Now we'll come back to this in a minute. Now if we go into ProPresenter you'll notice that there are many different group folders. There will be times where you'll need to add a new group folder so I want to take you through that process. First we'll need to create a new hot folder and a new archive folder on the desktop and label them appropriately. Since I've already done this we'll go ahead and move to the next step. Now we'll open up ProPresenter and once that's opened up I want you to scroll down to the video image library and in the corner click on new icon and choose new group folder and I'll label this one test. Once that's created we'll go back to the new icon again and now click new hot folder. This is going to ask you to select which file you would like ProPresenter to sync to. So I'm going to click in the desktop area and then choose the test folder that I created a little while ago and hit click OK. Now once I add anything to that test folder on the desktop, you will see that it will automatically add it to the correct group file in ProPresenter. And if I remove the image, it also removes it from ProPresenter.